legend. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow alcoholics, welcome to today's Advent calendar. You know, I should probably be using, you know, actual gimbal because I'm pretty sure I shake a lot. But anyways, upside of this is I have my hands completely free. I don't have to be one-handed. Even though in my uh, blank years of existence, I have become very good at working one-handed. Um, jokes aside, I think I just broke this. Anyways, so today I did put up the Christmas tree. I uh, didn't do much else. I was going to put this up there, but one thing I did also do, and since I got the, um, uh, what do you call it, green screen yesterday, I went into work and I got some extra lights. So I have my two lights, two lights from work, and here is my green screen. It's wider, that's for sure, but the problem is, and I probably shouldn't step on it with shoes on, and the problem is, it probably go blind you here for a little bit. There's the NBA, screw your um, NBA, NFL. Don't look. I don't have permission. Anyways, it's very shallow. Like I said, here's where I have my uh, camera for my VR recording, and that'd be okay. But again, it doesn't give me a lot of depth of field to mess with. If I put this into the garage, sorry, uh, the problem with the garage is it's a garage. I'm actively using it, and I'm going to be making some. Uh, Christmas presents out of wood. So there's going to be sawdust, and I don't want to get sawdust on my green screen, essentially, or anything else. But also, audio's a bit, I don't know, I'll see how it sounds with this on. But yeah, I could do like I did last year and have, you know, uh, that table sitting here, kind of a nice little green screen behind me, and do the shots in here. So, but that's pretty much all I did today. Kind of just a lazy about day. What's interesting is I don't have to go to Minnesota or Montana anymore. That fell through, so that does open up my schedule. Now, the reason the green screen is there is I wanna do some more green screen intros like I did last year. So hopefully, this is day four, you see some of them. It's not that I haven't edited them yet, I just don't wanna ruin the surprise. That's already happened. Don't ask questions. Anyways, and one of the things is I wanna do actual famous Christmas scenes and insert me in them. And one of the things I always have is alcohol on me. Now, I could do the traditional apple juice for uh, chugging quote unquote whiskey, but the problem with apple juice, as you can see right here, is it's kind of see-through. So if I green screen it, there's gonna be a little bit of green screen back there, it's not gonna be the nicest. I was thinking tea, and this is actually the right color, because I want something darker. So you can tell it's liquid, but it's not going through. I got these guys here, in case the tea was a bit lighter. So, anyways, I'm not gonna use that tea, because that tea tastes good. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, most teas taste good. Anyways, uh, when I went to get something to eat, I got an extra thing of iced tea, just in case. Let's see, this is also pretty dark, but also it's inside something. We'll see how dark it is once we get it inside this really old maple crown royal. Yeah, this is really old. It's been sitting around forever. I actually ha almost had to get a wrench, because of sugar on it. But I cleaned it out so it no longer smells like bad maple. Oh, hey. I found my old prop bottle from last year. Maybe I should use this instead. Because, again, it's free of the labeling, so... Even though the... I don't know. Anyways, 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 anyways. anyways. There you go. There's some math for you. Uh, 38 ounces is apparently 4 cups. Now you know. And knowing's half the battle. You know, I'm going to lose some ice on this. All right, there you go. Again, you don't want it to be completely full. So this is the maple one. Yep, that's the maple one. You can tell by the smell. <laughs> Anyways, I'll wash that one up, get it for a second prop. So here you go. Cheers. Mm. There you go. You have yourself a nice little whiskey prop. Now, it is a bit see-through-ish. That's not too bad. Uh... Let's see, what if I mix in a little bit of uh, fruit punch? Good old Arizona fruit punch. Let's see what color I get. Uh, not really any color change. Matter of fact, you're probably eh, purplish. How about watermelon? Now this thing's gonna have so much damn sugar in it. No, that's even clearer. Oh well. Ah, interesting. Anyways, 
<laughs> Might still be my best bet. I don't know, unless I get food coloring, which if I have any food coloring, it's probably older than some people watching uh, YouTube these days. Um, yeah, no. All right. Anyways, so that's how you make props. If you ever see anyone chugging whiskey, it's usually apple juice. Because again, apple juice is that nice light caramel color for um, bourbon. You might add a little bit of these two together and you get yourself the nice whiskey color. Then again, this tea here is perfect. So anyways, now that I have that up, I need to put on my costume and start shooting some scenes. Mm. So... Again, I'm trying to think of what famous Hollywood movies, or movies, uh, what are some famous, by the way, here's the outfits, of course, the old robe. I really need to actually cut this hair. Here's the, no, here's the hair. I mean, this thing is way too much. Like I said, maybe I should actually cut it. Make it actually of somewhat reasonable hair. Anyways, uh, what I was trying to say is famous uh, Hollywood or movies, etc., etc., Christmas scenes. So, for example, I'm going to do some uh, Die Hard, some, uh, well, again, everyone calls it a Christmas movie, might as well, um, some Lampoon's National, uh, I mean National, uh, yeah, uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, um, oh, Jingle All the Way, maybe some, uh, you're looking at it, look how green it is next. You uh, might do some nativity scenes, maybe Moses parting the ocean. Again, I'm just going to play it all by ear and hopefully have enough for sprinkle out throughout this video. The rest of them, I might just, I'm looking for smoke bombs <laughs> because I want to put a smoke bomb with a, uh, in a vacuum pipe or pipe, a vacuum tube. Uh, and put it near the exhaust of my PC when it's empty mostly so that way you have smoke coming out my PC and then kind of film that because that's what the PC is doing right now it's melting it's not it's just fucking up in general so anyways so yeah I technically haven't got around to editing any of the videos I'm a bit late but oh well we'll figure it all out as we go anyways let's get on to today's actual advent Here we are, again, just random, there we go, random position, and I just grabbed them randomly. I did notice one thing, this is a tall bottle, and I'm wondering, I picked it multiple times, that when I feel, and I just grab one of the first ones, that this one's being picked a lot, and of course on purpose, this, or the hollow one, has been picked a lot, just to get those out of the way. So, they're always good, and I mean, there's always a chance I don't pick it, but there's a chance I could, so... Just those are the two that always seem to come up. And this is on purpose. This is probably psycho psychologically, anyways, uh, unintentionally. So, but yeah, so just got to get around to actually filming and editing this stuff. Again, mostly probably on this laptop. <sighs> but I have footage on there and it's a big pain. <sighs> we'll see if any of this comes out in December. I may have an advent calendar in January. At the rate this is going. Anyways, here we go. The number is, make sure I'm not lying, two. The number is two. Let's see. All right, so number two. So that, I've gotten two a lot, haven't I? Well, then again, I've done one, two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, it is a one in 10 chance, or excuse me, 2 in 10, which is 1 in 5, which is the odds I'm shooting for. Where's the puck? Okay, just imagine something's happening here. Oh, there it is. It's hiding. It doesn't want to be used. All right, so 1, 2. Let's see if it's going to be 2 again. Again, odds are 1, 2, 3 are the strongest. So, oh, actually, you can't see 
too much of that. Let me move over. There we go. Maybe you can see. Maybe, oops. Maybe I'm amazed by the way you love me all the time. All right, number two is I hit the lights. It's two again. See, the problem is, uh, you know what? I need to fix this. Well, the problem is if I hold it, it's almost a straight vertical. I need to tilt it down a little bit here. Because again, that gives it a little bit more energy potential. If it's just going down, it just it can go down. But here, see how it slanted? It went more variety. Anyways, it was two. Now, we go by the first results, even if they're inaccurate and completely messed up. We fix them the next day. So what I need to do is cut me a board and angle it so that way it has a prop. So it's always going to be at the same angle. So we always have a similar result. Anyways, it's two. At some point I should just use the dice, but you know, it makes noise. Noises are good. I forgot to bring my shot glass. Anyways, <laughs> problem with humans and making random number generators. Humans suck at random and everything they make sucks at random. Anyways, today's drink is Passona. Passion, uh, the passion drink. Uh, with real passion fruit liqueur. So it's passion fruit liqueur, 20% uh, alcohol by volume. So this is, as it says, liqueur. So it's 20%, which is actually kind of strong for liqueurs. Liqueurs are usually 15-ish percent. But I mean, it's not overly strong. It's not uh, 30s or 40s where, again, you're fuzzing the line between flavored spirits and liqueurs. But this is well in the camps of liqueur. And again, it's passion fruit. What the hell is a passion fruit? I guess that's a passion fruit. And of course, it's always red, which I think is the outside of a passion fruit. The inside's actually like a pomegranate, slightly different color. You know, it's less, again, I, I always wonder, is, pom, is, a, is it just the marketing of red, like the outside the gore? Because the seeds inside aren't that color. So, anyways, let's see what it smells, because clearly I know what a passion fruit smells like. Anyways. It smells, uh, sugary, sweet, fruit punish-ish? Pu fruit punish! No, fruit punch-like. So, again, it does smell sweet and juicy. No hint of alcohol whatsoever. Very nice. So, yep, yep, yep. Uh, anyways, so, like I said, I got some acting to do, I got some editing to do, and I got some work around the house to do. Again, I joke about putting stuff off for the future, but I believe I am procrastinating a bit too much. So here's to <laughs> procrastinating. I'll get it done someday. Cheers. Anyways. <laughs> Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Good. Again, it's a liqueur, so it's going to be sweet. So, goes in, and you're met at the door. It's, I, I keep thinking of its sweetness with a little bit of alcohol in it. So if you think of the, re well, not reverse, those strawberry candies that everyone has but no one buys, I, they just show up. You become a grandparent, they just magically start appearing at your place. It happened to my parents, and I don't know how it happened. Anyways, those little hard uh, strawberry candies that have a little bit of sweet, uh, uh, not sweetness, but syrup or something in the middle. So the outside is this sweet, sweet fruit, syrupy, sugary goodness. Inside is just a hint, a subtle suggestion of alcohol warmth. And again, it's not alcohol taste, it's alcohol warmth because the whole thing tastes great. There's, like I said, that little bit in the middle, <sighs> It's a suggestion of alcohol taste slash warmth, but it's barely a taste, more of a sensation. So, anyways, and it slowly melts and goes down 
And again, it goes down, bottom open, alcohol goes down. What you're left with is that lovely, sweet fruit taste. Again, I don't know a passion fruit from a uh, passion plant. One's a band. Anyways, uh, but that was pretty good. Again, this is actually a pretty thick bottle. I mean, that's full glass. Anyways, this, like the raspberry liqueur I use for my iced tea, would be perfect for iced tea. Literally, it's a bit thicker than your average liqueur. It's a lot syrupy. It has more syrup texture. There you go. Than your average liqueur. And again, it has that nice sweet fruit taste. So just add this to your tea and you have a nice fruit, passion fruit adult iced tea. Matter of fact, that's what I'm going to do. Passona. I should look into this. Because again, I like using that raspberry, but it's nice to have choices. So, mm. anyways, this video is brought 16 minutes. Whoo, 18 minutes. We'll see how much I have to edit out. But, uh, anyways, yeah, so again, a lot of preparation. H, because my ass is sore. But also, a lot of getting stuff ready to do stuff. So, hopefully, I get this stuff and done in time. Someday I hope to learn English and the proper grammar. But until that day, I also hope to get this video out in time. So, we'll see. Probably not. I might be a day late. I might have to double up somewhere. But, you know, it is what it is. So, all that aside, let me taste... Blah, 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 blah. It was only a liqueur. Ah, let me take a breath. Let me thank you for watching. And actually, do you guys know what a passion fruit is? Is it like a pomegranate? How do you say the word pomegranate? Anyways, does it have a bunch of seeds in it? You know, what's your favorite fruit juice? Because that's different. Your favorite fruit might be one thing, but your favorite fruit juice might be something different. Anyways, this random questions. Again, YouTube bangs the hammer about fan uh, interaction and call to actions. So, you are great. Go out and have some fun. Don't listen to what others say. You are amazing. How about that for a call of action? Otherwise, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time, even tomorrow. Bye.